Mike Prendergast, uh, Stade Francais, a big jump up, I suppose, in, in, in club with regards to reputation in club, in, in a club that has huge expectations, a huge, a, a, a massive resources, a big setup, uh, you know, a, a, a fantastic stadium, a big, bright new city in Paris. You know, you must be, it must be a daunting challenge, it must be one you're really looking forward to. And, and I suppose you must be ultimately very excited about it. Yeah, I suppose the word excitement would 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 be the right word. Um, I suppose when when you look at Stade Francais, you just look at the history, what they've done recently, what they've done in the past, you know. But I suppose in the in the more recent times, they, albeit they won the top fourteen three years ago, um, they've dropped off a couple of a, a small bit there in the last, you know, two seasons or so, um, and I think. You know, there's a new there's a new owner. He's come in since last season, and um, he wants success. So basically, he went out and he head hunted um, Heineken Mayer, um, to bring to bring that success. You know, but I'm um, in the top fourteen. It just it it's 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 a difficult competition. It's a very hard competition to win. Um, you know, so he has that bit of realism as well. That you know, it's not just done overnight. Considering when you look at it, the other clubs and 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 the squads they have and and the debt they have, you know, so um, from that point of view, it's you know there's a lot of work to be done. We did a bit of recruitment. I know a lot of people outside the the, the club itself thinks there was a huge amount of recruitment. I think with the Gale Fiku and um, and Johan Maestri, I suppose by us getting them, there was a lot of um, you know, especially over here, a lot of media around that, getting two internationals, leaving Toulouse to come to to, to, to Paris. Um, you know, but I suppose there's still a, the bones of the squad that are that have been there for the last couple of years. And that and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, you know. So it hasn't been all change either in, in, in terms of, of, of your player your player resources. So um look, there is a lot of excitement, but there there's realism as well because we have a lot of work to do. We've, you know, they came in twelfth this season, um, just one above above I suppose relegation. So um, it's a year where just talking to the coaches and 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 to the club and whatnot that um, we've we've got to you know put our put our stuff into into place, put our systems into place, put it on and off the pitch, and uh, and you know try and grow from there. Yeah, Mike, you know. We've seen the, I suppose the 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 goal at, when you were with Grenoble would have been, uh, would have been maintaining your top fourteen status. The same with I and I came very close, albeit last season. Um, you know, the, the, despite finishing twelfth last last year, I suppose this Stad Francais side will number one be looking to get back into the top tier European competition, and number two to make it to the playoffs. That that would represent huge progress. Yeah, it would absolutely. Um, you know, but. The problem is the rest of the clubs are looking for that as well. You look at Bordeaux, who uh, you know had a poor season. They were after the recruiting incredibly, incredibly well, um, and then you have teams that are that are already strong. Even the likes of Leon, who made the, the semi final this year, um, they've been, they've recruited very, very strong. Clermont ended up ninth, tenth this year after winning the top fourteen. There's a lot of teams that that's happened where they've won the top fourteen in the following season. Um, they've struggled, you know, it happened racing, it happened stad a couple of years ago. Um, you know, so from 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 that point of view, we're we're you know, I suppose under no illusions that you have those teams as I said, like Clermont. Clermont will you know, they're not gonna they're not gonna have a season like they had this year, they had a huge amount of injuries. So there's two or three teams that are looking for that as well, you know. But but look, so are we, absolutely we've we've um I suppose when you look at the, the the squad we have, and you look at other teams, we may not have the the depth that the other teams do, um, but definitely it's something that you know. I suppose in the background we are looking to see if we can make that make that top six, or or you know put a lot of stuff, put a lot of of foundations there that that we can grow. But um, in as I said before, in this competition, uh, you don't get too much time, so. Um, it needs to be done fast. So we're actually we're back. We're into our second week of pre season. So and the boys are working hard. There's still a lot of international players to come back and whatnot, you know. But um it's a marathon of a season. A huge amount, you know, um you've a huge amount that 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 will depend as well in terms of 
as I said, our squad is massively deep, so injuries will be a big thing. But as I said, it's all about putting the, the, the fundamentals, the foundations in, and, and looking to grow. Looking to grow, you know. Mike, when you uh, when you get that call from Stade Francais and you see the number coming through on the phone and, and you, you're going for that interview, you you must have been excited. And, and the, the thoughts of I suppose Paris, a big city, you know, it's it's a, it's a big move, a big commitment, and you know I, I suppose a, a chance that you'll be looking to grab with both hands. Yeah, um, sure is, and I suppose especially when it's it's a person like Heineken Mayer with with all his experience and and knowledge and you know. Um, I suppose when you're a younger coach to get that opportunity to work with a coach that's, you know, he's been there, he's done that, he's been at World Cups, he's won Super super 15s or Super 14s at the time with the Bulls, um, he's been coaching world-class players, so, um, and then when, obviously with the, 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 the other staff that are in place as well, including Peter de Villiers, who's a, a, an old um, prop of Stade Francais as well, you know, so, and the excitement really to work with a staff like that was was a massive thing. And obviously, as I said, with the history, you know, staff on say even in Ireland would be would be a, a quite a big club. Uh, and as you say, coming to coming to, to Paris as well, it's um, yeah, it's it's look, it's the the the, the job I suppose is the is the main thing, and that's that's what I was looking. Uh, that's what I'm excited about and working with these with these coaches and and these players, you know, and trying to I suppose trying to really build something, you know, so. Um, yeah, it's 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 you know it's exciting times, but there's a lot of work to be done. 